here for fun, you're here for flex, you're here for sexy nibbage, and that's what we're going to do because today I'm going to be looking at the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149 with the Fritz Schimpf Exclusive Expressive Nib. And it's delightful. We got the packaging. Standard Mont Blanc packaging. It's got the box, it has the open, it has the velvet bed, it's got the paperwork, but uh, Fritz Schimpf has included this card pamphlet thing to explain the nib and to tell you how to use it. If we're looking at the pen, it's a 149. So you probably know what a 149 looks like. It is a large pen, quite girthy. It has gold trim, it's black precious resin, and if you look at it in the right light, it has very reddish hue to it. You know, it's got the resin star on the top. There's a serial number. Underneath the clip says something. It's really tiny. Made in Germany, metal. Center band is engraved with Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149. It's got the little loop the loop stickering. So it's on the back of the pen. You uncap, it's got an ink window, a nice big section, and a very, very hot nib. So it takes like two and a half turns, and the nib is beautiful. It, the, the loop the loops are kind of weird, but single slit, round breather hole, and it has been ground to be a pretty crisp italic cut which is very interesting for a flexible nib. And it says the expressive on one side, it says Fritz Schimp on the other side. Pretty good looking. In hand, oddly enough, although the pen is large, it's not the, the size of it, it's the girth of it. And it is very well balanced. So even unposted for me, I find it, oh sorry, I find it very comfortable. But if it is posted, it's just too long. Even when posted, the balance is pretty good, but it's just too long. I find it girthy, but for short writing periods, like with this expressive nib, I'm actually having no problems with it, and I do find it easier for me to use with these nibs that require a little more attention, like the O3B, like this expressive. Pretty standard comparison with some other pens interesting is that it's not a very long pen again it's really about the thickness of this pen and particularly the section that is quite thick the idea behind this nib is um it's supposed to be expressive so this is a celebration of 140 years of family history and uh, fritz schimp has collaborated with mont blanc to create this very special italic flex nib and so it's got the 18 karat gold nib. It features a special cut carefully formulated through a creative process with Mont Blanc. The unique nib, sorry, the, the, uh, the nib's unique italic cut facilitates varying line widths in both horizontal and vertical strokes. And the nib of the Mont Blanc special edition expressive fountain pen is also flexible, making vertical line width variation a possibility by applying moderate pressure. The blend of these two factors results in exceptional cursive and printed handwriting, and to write with this nib is to be enchanted anew by the simple pleasure of ink on paper. I have to agree. I might be biased because I bought it, but you know. Uh, without pressure, they do measure the line width, so it is 0.1 millimeters horizontal, 0.8 millimeters vertical, and the maximum that you can achieve with pressure is 1.6 millimeter vertical. These dimensions are ideal for highly individualized cursive writing, printing, or sketching. So they do give some suggestions about how to use this nib, um, like depending on the ink, railroading can happen, um, ink can accumulate on the, on the surface of the nib, just wipe it off, no big deal, that's pretty normal. And the expressive's nib wants to be discovered, expects attention and patience, and longs to grow a long-lasting friendship. Feeling the nib writing the first lines and words, reacting to different grades of paper, varied inks, and perhaps even to different writing postures, these pave the way for freshly expressive handwriting. Or is it love at first line? This just speaks to me. This is what I love about fountain pen nibs, and this is what I love about unusual nibs or different nibs. I love getting to know them. I love trying them with different inks, different papers, different grips, different writing styles. This. 
I didn't realize it at the time, but, but this is like, it's, it's like made for me. So the thing is, it is a very precise grind. So it has a very small sweet spot. And on the smoother paper, I'm definitely getting a couple hard starts, but that makes sense. I have found that it does not keep up well with fast writing because it just takes perfect alignment on the page. And this is not unusual for crisp italics. In fact, it makes complete sense. And if you're someone who writes really fast, rotates your nibs as you're writing, you would probably not enjoy this. If you're someone who is looking for something that you will write slowly with, attentively, um, you know, with, with thought and with expression, this nib might just be for you. And this is not what I was expecting. I love writing experiences like this, but I didn't realize this is what I was gonna get with this pen and with this nib. And it's even better than I was hoping for. It also came with ink bottles. I'm not gonna say no to ink. Pretty nice colors too. Well, my friends, enough of my chit chat. I think I have probably blabbed on sufficiently. <laughs> um, what I really wanted to share with you is my excitement about this pen and how surprised I was. It's even more perfect and more satisfying for me than just, you know, like a firm stub. So I don't really mind italic nibs, I never have, but the fact that this one has a bit of bounce to it and I can make it a bit wetter and still get really crisp line variation is just delightful. So I've been having a blast with it and I'm really enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to getting to know it more, trying different inks, trying different papers. So I will be back in a year with the Redux and we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, I'm Aziza presenting here for Gourmet Pens, because that's who I am. And you know the deal. You can find me on the socials on the next page. Let's hope 2021 rocks, and uh, let's make it rock, shall we? Stay inked, my friends.